today we will learn about the assertiveness and within this uh, basically you have seen to assert is a state and opinion claim a right or establish an authority if you assert yourself you behave in a way that express your confidence and um, importance of power and earns your respects from others so it is according to the oxford Dic english dictionary and assert means to uh, bring your opinion or your rights or means you put your authority over certain situation or condition or in the place you feel that um, it is um, it's uh, my rights so assert means that the state and opinion basically and according to a donald's medical dictionary assertiveness is defining a form of behavior uh, characterized by confident declaration or affirmation of a statement without need of proof this affirmation is the person's rights or point of view without either aggressively taking the rights of another, assuming positions and dominance of submissively permitting another to ignore or deny one's rights or point of view. In this condition, a person uh, as a characteristic of declaration of affirmation states without need of proof. He puts his rights without any proof. Whatever his or her rights, he puts her and it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't require any form of um, um, proof to that it's my rights. Next, we will see the word terminology that is passivity, violating one's own rights by failing to express the honest feeling and thoughts and belief and consequently permitting others to violate oneself or expressing one's thought and feeling in such an apologetic, dependent, self appreciation manner that others can easily disregard them. So, passivity is what? Individual violates her own rights, fail to express his honesty, his thoughts, his feelings and beliefs. So this condition is known as passivity. Next one is the aggression. Directly standing up for personal rights and expressing thoughts and belief in a way that is often dishonest, usually inappropriate, always violates the rights of others. Here the aggression is the situation where we directly stand for our personal thoughts and express our thoughts in the form of a violation okay we violate our rights of other and this we sometimes we become a dishonest and you know we express our rights and thoughts in this migration condition next one is your assertive communication so assertive communication is the ability uh, to express positive and negative ideas okay and feeling in an open honest and direct way it because we recognize our rights wish list and respecting the rights of others it allows us to take the responsibility for ourselves and our actions without judging and blaming others people and um, it allows us to constructively comfort and find mutually a satisfying solution conflict say it's fixed okay so this is communication is where expressing our positive thoughts negative thoughts and we feel open sleep mean, we have some certain behaviors in groups that is starting changing ending sharing your feelings making a request refusing other requests and demanding questioning rules and addressing problems expressing positive ex emotions expressing negative emotions comes all under in your this assertive uh, behavior okay next uh, is when your assertive behavior people have the following characteristics what are the following characteristics of us they feel they're free to express their feelings desires they are comfortable in relationship they know their rights and they have control over their fingers assertive people um, are willing to compromise with others and rather than always wanting to their own um, way of uh, attending the uh, good self-esteem so, okay In components of uh, assertive behavior. So, uh, Albert uh, mentions few uh, simple components which go uh, together with the concept of eye contact. So, then we have to maintain our body posture, your gestures are important in the, during this, your facial expressions, your voice tone, then your timing and your content. Then, what are the advantages? So, advantages of communi assertive communication. It feels us good about ourselves and develop mutual respect, increase self-esteem, reduces our anxiety and protect us from advantages and may, uh, 
taken by others. Then disadvantages are that at, uh, at, at times not properly conveyed, then one may consider rudeness. It also affects our overconfidence and produce uh, can prove too counterproductive. Basic human rights are there: respect and treat res- uh, each and every person, stay with no without any explanations. Right, slow down, take a time, express right. Each person has right to change his or her mind. Right to ask for what he or she wants. Each person has right to ask for information and makes makes mistakes, accept the consequences. You know, the four basic styles of emotion: passive, non-passive, assertive, aggressive, passive-aggressive, and assertive. So, passive communication is where. Individual develop a pattern of avoiding expressing their opinion. Passive is a one type of one person who is not able to express his feelings, his uh, rights, his identity, and his needs, and he feels that I'm not worth or uh, taking care of of anything. Exactly, he is sad inside. Okay, is not able to express his feeling, feeling to express and about assert themselves or to put his his or her. Opinion is your known as your passive communication. There are certain reasons we are non-assertive or your lack of knowledge. Sometimes we don't speak because we are not, not having a specific knowledge about the situation. Then our laziness, apathy, feeling of inadequacy, fear of being considered as unworthy and resolved, fear of not knowing how to accomplish your desired goals and all. Then uh, aggressive communicators will often try to dominate. So those who are more aggressive, they try to dominate some of these humiliation to control other, criticize, blame, attacks others, and be very impulsive. Not listen well and use your stealing. Passive aggressive communications are neuters will often neuters to themselves. Uh, they instance the style in which appear are passive on the surface but are really acting on anger and substance indirectly or behind the scenes and those are powerful the stuff says and assertive behaviors uh that in the interpersonal relationship is in which person stands for their rights they uh and pay the rights of others are not violated if they express their rights they feel uh, speaks to their rights and they're honest and they don't violate the others rights okay and their position stand the body language they stand straight and still directly face to face contacts are there then uh, maintaining eye contact and speak in very clear and steady voice okay. speak fluently without any assurance of any mistakes Okay. Then assertive communicators will uh, state needs, wants clearly, appropriate, respectful, express feelings clearly, appropriately, and respectfully. Use I statement, it's not allowed. Then are certain assertive taking broken records, free information, self disclosure, fogging, agree with truth, agree with thoughts, agree in principle, negative assertion, okay with compromise. Other, the two, uh, these are the techniques. Then techniques we use to use why I'm worried. Like these are the certain we can go to this and this. We have to stop the thoughts. Uh, uh, make an alarm to stop the bad thoughts of uh, the thoughts which makes you disturb. And uh, try to um, say uh, stop whenever that 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 uh, the thoughts which uh, triggers you and makes you uh, stressful. You just say alarm and stop. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then, uh, so if you are worried about presentation, so what you have to do, you have to just simply uh, know you are ready and you can't stop the worry about it. So imagine that how uh, the world was, see, you will not stop quietly in your mind with, uh, if I am uh, doing certain works and I am having some uh, bad thoughts related to my financial problems or crisis or my uh, relationships. So what I will do? So say and say simply say stop and in my heart mind. Okay, this is method, another method. Other ways use a put we used to put a rubber band or we, we used to put a rubber band in hand and after that or whatever so or what, whenever we have a thoughts after we used to just click the rubber. Okay, make yourself then I want the thoughts. And if they are having any doubt, you can ask me. Thank you so much for this.